Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're going to look at some dollars and some quarters and we're going to try to answer a question and that question is is a quarter dollar one quarter the weight of a dollar coin and so we have some of those quarter dollars here and we have some of these dollar coins here uh, here's one oops upside down Eisenhower, here's the, oh, this is the just, this is really not a coin in the sense that it's circulated. This is the Liberty uh, one ounce. You can see it's United States silver one ounce. This is one ounce of fine silver. And so this is, if you want to buy silver in a coin form, this is what the United States sells. It's probably about 20 bucks worth of silver and it costs about 20 Two or 23 bucks this is 1986 version and then we have of course a bunch of quarters so and what's underneath here well if we put everything off of here we see they're actually on top of a scale so let's get all these coins out of the way let's turn the scale to the on position And see if it zeroes and then let's put four quarters on there here's a quarter from uh, the Yellowstone quarter there's the uh, uh, bicentennial quarter there's the Alabama quarter and finally we just have the regular United States quarter and when we put all four of them on there we see that we have 22.8 grams of weight so 22.8 grams for four quarters. What's a George Washington dollar weigh? 7.96. So the George Washington, the new dollar coins, don't weigh much more than the quarters. So the George Washington dollar weighs 7.95 grams. The quarter itself weighs... 5.71 grams. So the George Washington dollar doesn't. How about the Sacagawea dollar? Let's see if the Sacagawea dollar weighs about 8 grams. Um, so that again doesn't weigh what uh, four quarters weigh. What if we choose one of the older dollars? And this, of course, is one of the peace dollars. And it's just a beautiful coin. You see the S mint mark over here, United States of America, a little bit worn. Liberty on the front, and this is one of the reasons I was able to get this, because of the marking. It's a 1923, and if we put the 1923, 26.72 grams. So four quarters, modern quarters, one more time, weighs 22 point. So the, the old silver, the 90% silver dollars, weigh four grams more than uh, the uh, quarters. What about the Eisenhower dollar? 22.48 and what were the quarters again? 22.81. So the Eisenhower dollar, the Eisenhower of course copper nickel clad copper dollar weighs almost the same. So 22.8 for the quarters 22.5 essentially for the Eisenhower dollar. So the, the old Eisenhower dollar, which they don't make anymore, um, weighed about the same. What about the half dollar? The half dollars weighed about 24.5, 24.6, and the dollar weighed 26.71. So what's going on there? I thought that it used to be in the old days that a silver dollar weighed the equivalent of two half dollars, which it doesn't, or the equivalent of one, two, I'm not daisy this, so one, three, four silver dollars, which it doesn't. Well, what happened is that when they first came out with the US dollar, and this is a, you know, kind of some of it is uh, from the old the old Spanish doubloons. I'm just going to put the uh, the silver Eisenhower on there and take, let you take a look at that. 
So that's the silver Eisenhower, and let's tip that up a little bit. This is a really expensive coin. It's silver and it's Eisenhower. The old U.S. dollars, when they first made them, um, they made them in kind of in the fashion of the Spanish doubloons. When the Spanish doubloons uh, came out, they were sometimes called pieces of eight. And what, what that meant was you could chop them into four pieces and use any of those four pieces for one quarter of the piece of eight. And what they did in the Spanish doubloons, they chopped them into eight pieces. And one eighth, um, and that's why they call them pieces of eight because a doubloon cut into eight would be a piece of eight. Now, so that's 26.71. Let's see what the uh, Liberty, and this has a little bit of plastic on it, but this weighs about 30 grams. Why does it weigh more? Well, because it's an ounce of pure silver. These coins um, are 90% silver um, and weigh less because obviously they are less silver value. The other thing is that the one ounce silver, you can see it actually is bigger than the old silver coin. All right, so what they did was they, when the United States first put out the dollars, they put out dollars that were, until, until 1838, the quarter dollars were weighed one quarter of a US dollar. After 1838, they didn't. In fact, now, um, when they move to the modern silver dollars, you'll see that these weigh somewhere between 6 and 6.25 grams each, and that's what they settled on, 6.25 grams uh, after 1838 uh, for the dollar. And then, of course, when they went to the non-silver they weigh about 5.7 or 5.72. All right, well, that's what we have. And so the answer is no, four quarters do not weigh as much as a dollar. However, four quarters weigh close to uh, an Eisenhower dollar. So there's four modern quarters, 22.82. And here is the Eisenhower dollar, 22.48. So, but they don't put the size in our dollar out anymore. But for a brief time, four quarters weighed the same as a dollar in the early 70s. All right, that's all we have today from DC Coinwell International Coin Channel. Let's put some of these coins back on, stack it up, and have a great day. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.